Osgood Schlaughter disease can be such a painful condition uh, for young people, especially if they are an athlete. And when you're trying to perform at your highest level and you have something like that knee pain really holding you back, it's really frustrating. So in this video, we are doing a case study for Talon. Um, we're going to walk through exactly what those treatments uh, look like, what other therapies we're including along with laser therapy in this treatment, um, and then you'll also get to see what uh, his outcomes were. Check it out. Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel Bridge. I'm a chiropractor in Helena, Montana. This channel is dedicated to helping you live the life that you have designed. So what's going on? So I have a bump on my knee that's been hurting for quite a while ever since I started really playing sports and having physical activity running on it. And it's just this pain that I can feel in my leg that like just causes me not to run fully mm -hmm. and like be able to be at my fullest. But mm. And it's just been hurting for a long time. How long? Like when did it very first start? Around start of the school year, football season. Started this year? Yes. No, you had it last year, remember? During basketball too. Oh yeah. yeah. Like so like towards I'd say probably about a year. Okay. And you've played basketball for how long? Since I was a little kid. Okay. Yeah. Apart from that strap, what have you um, done to try to get it fixed? Uh, mainly icing it and ibuprofen okay. before games. And so it helps, but it never really goes away forever. Yeah. Okay. The, and before, before it happened, he actually gained about, I think, five inches in a year. Oh, dang. In height. Mm -hmm. uh, he really blew up. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, I didn't know if that had some... We always just thought it was kind of growing pains. Mm -hmm. We thought it was, uh, we heard a lot of things called like jumper's knee and things like that. A lot of people were kind of self-diagnosing mm -hmm. us, right. you know. Yeah. So. When it hurts at its worst, can you describe how that feels at its absolute worst? Uh, kind of like, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but just it's just like a throbbing pain that like you, try to run on it or put pressure and it just hurts. Mm -hmm. And uh, does the pain spread? Can you point to where it hurts? Okay. And it's just a very small area of pain or does the whole knee ache? Just a small area. Very focused. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being high, how high has the pain gotten? I would say 6 or 7. Okay. So it hurts to run, does it hurt to jump? Yes. Anything else? Oh, that's really it. Okay. Do you want to pull up your pant leg? Can you actually pull up both? We can compare side to side. So, let's see. And just totally relax that knee. Is that the bump? Yeah. Does that hurt? Not too bad right now. No. That hurts a little bit. That does. And then do you get pain in this tendon or just mostly in that bump? Just mostly in that bump. Okay. okay. Right in that part of the knee, you can develop something called Osgood Schlaughter. You guys heard of that? Yeah. Is where that tendon, you know, you get stress and uh, it pulls on that bone and it creates irritation and tissue damage to that, that area. So uh, we're going to start working on it. Sound good? Yeah. Okay, any questions? No. Nope. Okay, so today we're gonna do some laser and um, I am gonna do a little bit of scraping around that tendon um, with my little torture tool. <laughs> it shouldn't hurt too bad, but we're gonna scrape that tendon that can help to stimulate the healing process and then we'll do a laser on there too. We've got different tools but that's what I want to start with. But yeah that's what that's what I would say is it's probably Osgood, Osgood Slaughter. You know it's funny you can do so much research online but yeah. he just came across a YouTube video or a TikTok video one day. Uh-huh. Guy describing Osgood Slaughter's uh -huh. 
and everything that he described in terms of symptoms uh -huh. is exactly what he was feeling. Uh -huh. uh, and he showed it to me, and I was like, holy cow, I think that's exactly yeah. what we're dealing with right. here. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's funny when someone can, like, nail it, especially when you've just been, like, really thinking about it and yes. wondering. You don't really know, but that's why that content can be so powerful. Exactly, right? And then, like, for me as a provider, like, I oftentimes don't know what people know sure. about me or about anything in general. So, like I said, people call me, do you take care of pregnant women? It's like, right. of course I do. Course, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but I've never told you that, so how would you know, how would right? You know? Yeah. How would you know that I take care of sports injuries? You know, I did a presentation at Capital. Um, at a small business class. Sure. This lady had found the podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was right around the same time. Podcast, yeah. yeah. And, you know, I did this whole presentation, and some of the kids were like, do you guys, do you take care of athletes? And uh, same thing, it's like, of course I do. But, yeah. it, it, you know, if, if, if you don't tell someone that, a lot of times in someone's mind, like, you know, their injuries are different than... Yes. And of course, you do have like... Of you as yeah. a guy that can help to give them some solutions, right? Right. You doing okay? Yeah. Is this getting tender? Mm, not bad. Okay. We're going to go pretty easy today on this. Um, do you have a massage gun at home? I do. Okay. Do you use it much? Uh, sometimes, yes, when I'm sore. Okay. So I would use that on your quads. Okay. Probably, you know, use it all around your hamstrings, your calves, but especially on these quads because, yeah, when you're growing and you're jumping a lot, it's a lot of stress and strain that just pulls away from, mm -hmm. from that area and creates that little bony bump. That bump probably won't go away, but because, you know, usually it's just bone is building yeah. in response to that extra stress. Um, but the pain should, should go away. You ever heard of laser therapy before? I have not. So laser therapy is kind of cool. There was this guy who, you know, they use lasers for everything, you know, yeah. eye surgery and missile guiding and back surgery. And this scientist or doctor had said that he had destroyed a tumor with a laser. So another, um, another doctor tried to replicate the the experiment and he took like a I don't know a rat or something like that and he it had a tumor and he cut it open and he started lasering this tumor and the tumor didn't get destroyed and he's like oh that's that's not like what I was expecting but the tissues where he had cut yeah like they healed way faster than they should have and what he realized is he was using a lower level laser. So there's high powered lasers that are gonna cut and burn. Yeah. And then there's lasers like this where you'll just feel some gentle warmth. And laser, laser at a lower setting like this um, causes a lot of healing, brings blood flow to the area, pain relief, whereas the higher power lasers cut and destroy. Um, but you also have to have enough power. So they have classes one, two, three, and four lasers. This is a class four laser, but it's just on the lower power spectrum. Yeah. So you'll feel some warmth. It shouldn't hurt if it does. If it gets too hot or if it hurts, you let me know. We treated Talon twice a week for six weeks for a total of 12 treatments. Each visit we did laser therapy and scraping on that patellar tendon. And with each visit he got better and better and better. Uh, on his 12th and final treatment, I wanted to make sure that I interviewed him again just so he could tell me and tell everybody how the treatments went for him. Tell me how your knee's feeling. It's feeling great. I've been lifting a lot and after basketball season and during basketball season towards the end. Uh, just coming in here, it's been helping, no pains. Haven't really felt it, hasn't been bugging me Sweet. at all. How long had that been bugging you before we started doing our treatments? So I felt it like towards the summer because that's when we started doing like physical activity for football. Mm -hmm. And then during the football season, like some days it would just, my knee would just kill me and mm -hmm. I could barely run. Mm -hmm. And then just during basketball, it just progressively got worse and worse. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I knew I just had to come in here. Right. 
So you, uh, have you been playing any pickup ball or practicing basketball mm -hmm. at all? Okay. Uh, a little bit. Sometimes I go in and just get shots up and run around a little and then just lift in and it hasn't been bothering me at all. Nice. Good. Keep up yeah. the good work, buddy. I will. Yeah. As you've seen, laser therapy is a very effective and viable treatment option for someone suffering with Osgood-Schlatter disease. Uh, I'm really happy with the results that uh, Talon was able to see. I'm happy to hear him getting back on the basketball court without his knee holding him back. If you're having pain above the kneecap, I would recommend checking out this video right here. And I wanted to show you some highlights of Talon dominating.